Hello and welcome. Today we're going to address the haters, and to them I say you should join me. Note that I don't dwell on the haters' comments. I actually want to use this opportunity to reflect on my runs of official mutations now that the cycle has come to an end once again. I started going for all clears from 17, and I have 106 solo all clears as of right now, including three heroes from the Storm mutations and two Void Rift mutations, I can easily complete five to six more uh, of the ones before 17 that I haven't completed yet. And you can see here, I have 126 done with Raynor, and in the official mutation chart, it's about 157. Raynor is, uh, oh, Artanis is the least played commander, or one with the least completions. And um, the most is Tychus, because Void Rifts are easy with him compared to others. And you can see here, comparing the number that uh, we have in the official mutation, the group as a, as a community versus the ones I have individually, getting pretty close. The haters from CTG's tier lists are not even worth mentioning, because they're a bunch of people who have no idea how wrong they are must be great to say stupid or incorrect things with such confidence. So the ones I actually want to bring up are these three, which I've heard from several communities since I'm, I've seemed to have been mentioned in different places. First one is that I cheat because I load from replay. Second one is that I only fight against easy comps when I use AI choice. And the third one is I only know how to copy other people. Save load, I generally do it, I don't do it from the middle of a game. I only uploaded one by accident and I redid the run as soon as I found out. So I am well within the rules that were not made by me. So I don't consider it as cheating and I don't think others would either. A solo is difficult on its own. You can, you if you say that I'm not as good as someone who didn't need to like rewind for Void Rifts, I agree. I don't think I'm as good as those people who can just beat it in one shot, but I am not breaking any rules. So I think it's fine. I actually do it because I just don't want to load from the beginning. It's mostly a time saver rather than not having the ability to beat it without save load. For easy comps, uh, some commanders, they can only fight against certain comps because it's just that hard. For others, I just choose because I don't want the randomness factor. And I guess you can say I really don't like the mutator's fear and power overwhelming because of the randomness. I really hate those. Yeah, I don't fight against easy comps all the time. I try not to, at least, especially for the stronger commanders. And I only fight against the easy ones if I really can't beat it with uh, anyone else. And again, AI choice is just a time saver because technically I can just roll over and over until I get the comp I want without using AI choice, but that just takes more time. So I'm just going to use the command to help save time. And the third one is the main one. I only know how to copy other people. This was a comment I remember I've seen somewhere. There was even like a big discussion in the Chinese community about how I only know how to copy others. And I remember one time I couldn't beat a mutation with Rainer. And he's like, someone said something like, this guy only knows how to copy others. He sucks ass. I'm like, okay, sure, fine. But this is what I want to show today. This is the chart. And the ones, a lot of the ones that you see in the chart are mine. So here, the first section, I'm going to just show the ones that uh, I have, that I'm the only one in that there is a record of. And that's because these were easy. Probably no one else wanted to do them. First one's like uh, Holiday Mutation, Foul Play, no one wanted to do that. Okay. Uh, Violent Night, sure. Manx runs were added later, so a lot of his runs were missing, so I just filled them in. A lot of holiday runs, like this one, this one, uh, these were cheeses, I believe, so people don't like to cheese, and I understand. A swan one was missing for some reason. This one was easy. Night Drive, Afraid of the Dark. People generally hate this. I don't know why these weren't done, but they weren't that difficult. And then more cheeses for Death and Taxes. And then this one, I don't know why it wasn't done, but I did that. And then, see, you can see that there's a lot of runs that were mine, and I'm the only one who has done them. So if no one has done them before, who am I copying? Well, for these, there isn't much to copy because it's they're pretty easy. Also, yeah, a lot of the Han and Horner runs, there was a Han and Horner main who deleted his channel, and I guess a lot of his runs were deleted in the process, so I kind of filled in 
the flanks. Same with uh, Zagara. I guess Zagara was just missing a lot. But anyways, these were a lot of runs that were easy because they were just cheeses or no one really wanted to do them. The next section, the blue ones, these were actually difficult. And uh, if you wish to do this as well, you don't want me to be the only one, then sure, you can copy me. I don't care. So first ones are uh, Feudal Resistance. This was kind of difficult. And then Magnetic Attraction. I remember this was the first time I remember like I beat a mutation that little Arin couldn't beat or didn't beat. And then I remember this one was hard. This one was also pretty difficult. Get Out More, these two. Zagara on Get Out More. A Cold Adaptation with Artanis, Stukov, Transmutation, not easy. Here, Temple of Rebirth with Zagara was kind of hard. Spectre of Death, first run for Han and Horner. I had to cheese it, but it was the first ever. And you can see all of these ones are just mine, and uh, they weren't all really easy. See, it's still a lot of these. I didn't count these, but you can see there's at least 20 of them that I had no one to copy. So I had to think of these myself. I could reference like other people's previous runs, but not really. So many of these where I had to come up with my own ideas to beat them. Even Void Rift mutations like this one, no one else beat them. So I, I'm the only one and I had to think of ideas to do them. Just because I'm the only one doesn't mean that I'm the only one who can beat it. It's just uh, that's the only record that we have of it. So if you have another one, then we can add it. And then here we have the most recent one, Fire in the Hole, two cheeses. Uh, one was never done before, and the other one was, uh, there was one that was done, but it didn't count because the guy switched his base, so we decided to take that out. So this one kind of not the only one, but this one was for sure. And the third section is what runs that I'm actually proud of, that I had to really think outside the box, and I had no one to copy. So this one was the first time I remember in the Chinese community, there was a forum post saying like, even some top tier player couldn't solo this. And then that's when uh, I think I was like a breakthrough for me in the Chinese community when I was still active on their forums. And uh, I was able to do this when others couldn't. Death from Below, Minor Evacuation with Zagara, always difficult. Minesweeper and stuff also sucks. Quick Killers with Nova and Han Horner. I had to find ways to like full clear the map extremely quickly or else I'd get run over by killbots. Battle Hardened with Zagara. This one I remember very clearly because I was down to my last building when I finished the mission because Missile Command with Zagara sucks. Doomsday Report was one of the first mutations I've ever decided to uh, fill in. Like I decided to just jump ahead and fill in and this was, was really hard. If I were to do this again, I would probably use Mutas instead of Hydra Lurker, but that's what I used at that time. For Spectre of Death, I actually, look, these weren't the only ones, but a lot of the existing runs were cheesed with a Reanimator Cage, and I, with the exception of Rainer and Han Horner, I did not use a cage for the rest of them. So th that required some outside the box thinking. Infection Detected with Artanis was super hard. One for all, Transmutation with Zagara and Stukov, especially this one, the 200 IQ play of uh, making air hybrid transmutate over dead space so that they would just die there. That was very great. And then uh, Solo Polarity, that was great. Then we have Double Trouble with Nova, a cheese, but still difficult, as well as the Haka with no cheese. Endless Sparkles with Artanis, which took like 50 tries, even though it's B plus one. Blind Tributes, cheesed with Swan and Nova, but I had to think of ways to feed the bots and survive long enough. And of course, this week's mutation, Fire in the Hole, with these three, where I did not have to, or I did not cheese, and I had to find ways to full clear while trapping the boom bots. So yeah, in addition, few people do runs with Avatar P3 and no mining runs and meme runs. So I do a lot of these myself and I have no one to reference and that's fine. So in conclusion, yeah, this was mainly a reflection on all the runs that I did before. And yes, I do copy. So I don't deny that, but I think it's a good learning experience. But at the same time, I also come up with my own tactics. So if you 
think that you can do this as well. That's fine. If you don't want me to be the only one on the list, you can do it and I'll add your runs as well. So that'll be it for this time. See y'all in the next video.